Hey, what's up? Today, Ron and I are gonna hike to Cane Lake on the western side of the Pioneer Mountains. Last year, we were able to hike to the Pioneer Cabin, which is kind of overlooking uh, the, all the big peaks of the Pioneer Mountains on the south side. So we decided we we're gonna head up north and, and come down in this way. Uh, it should be a good hike if we can make it there. Basically, got another flat tire really wasn't even anything crazy it was just another gravel road this happened last year I think there's just sharp rocks on these gravel roads um, so I had to change out to the spare and now we don't have a spare so we've only got about two and a half miles down on the gravel road left until we get to the trailhead hopefully nothing happens or it'll be a very short hike get out of the trash Ronan's excited uh, I'm excited we're gonna go see what Cane Lake's all about. You ready, Ron? Should've worn my Krispies. Should've worn my Krispies. Oh, my feet are already wet. Good boy, Ronan. Oh, boy. Phew. Check out this avalanche shoot. crazy how much power that just snow falling has oh, from up there Crazy boy, you're crazy. You crazy dog. You're crazy. Yeah. Get the snow. Oh. Rony. Oh, you fell. You want some snow? Here. <laughs> you're nuts. Let's go. Come on. We're getting off the main basin and going up to the Cane Lake Basin. Looks like it's getting a little bit more rocky. We're leaving the pine forest somewhat and getting into the alpine. So far, so good. I mean, it's been pretty gentle. I like the trail. Good views of Phi Kappa. Ronan's having fun. Feet haven't gotten too wet. Running. Go on. Good boy. I don't think it's going to take me all day. I was reading on all trails that it should take like eight hours. That's what a few people said in reviews, but I'm not seeing it. Oh boy. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I think up there is a better bet. Okay, now we've lost the trail a little bit. I mean, I could probably go back down to where you're supposed to get wet and cross, but I think the trail will pop up around here. Whoa. That's a big mountain. Such a steep face. Gorgeous view. 
That's the Devil's Bedstead. Cane Lake up there. Pi Kappa. We're about out of that boulder field. Run in and join the snow, like usual. I think that's all he comes on these hikes for. That's snow time. <sighs> this is not stable. Let's get back into that snow. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's all part of the adventure, I guess. If you decide to go off trail, hopefully we don't fall through this. Ronan's not, and we weigh basically the same thing. So, okay, nice. Okay, got out of the boulder field. Much faster going down here, but you know, not as pretty. Um, starting to see why this hike takes so long. We're only an hour and a half in. It looks like we're about a mile away from Cane Lake. And I found a nice little game trail to follow. Definitely don't think this is the trail, but it's working out pretty quick. I guess I just turned the hike into a loop. So I've been out and back. Just views all around though. This basin is gorgeous. Ah, let's do the old run and jump, eh, Ronnie? I can make it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Can I jump that far? Should I go check out that stick? These are all questions. Okay, good enough. Ready, set, go. <sighs> Made it. All right, log. You will ferry us across. Easy. Ow. 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 Screw you, log. Ow. Okay, we're fine. Let's not go back over that creek ever again. And where's my big, beautiful trail? Does it exist? Does it exist? You know, I'm starting to think there is no trail. I think this just might be it. You might just have to wander up there. Uh, we're still at a little less than half a mile from the lake. I'm thoroughly convinced that there is no trail at this point. Every once in a while I run into, you know, previous hikers footsteps through the snow or what looks like a trail, but it's, it's not. So it's been rough going. A lot of turning back, a lot of dead ends. But Almost there. Wow, there's another avalanche. Check that out. Look at those trees. And running. Whew. Oh. Quarter mile left. Oh no.
across right here. Oh. Feet are soaked, but at least we're safe. I don't care how hard it gets. We're hugging this right side next time. No more creek crossings. Looks like the last quarter mile is just straight uphill. Straight through these rocks. There it is. There it is. I made it. Oh, I made it. That sucked. That was one of the hardest hikes. Just because it wasn't a trail. I couldn't find it. Here it is. Cane Lake. Took us about three hours to get up here. It's supposed to just be three and a half miles, but I'm sure I turned it into five. Was it worth it? Uh, not if I have to replace that tire. Yeah, if I can just patch that tire, then I guess. If I have to replace the tire and it's like 300 bucks, then no. But don't know until you try. It's a pretty one. I didn't bring a rod. I don't know how many fish are in here. Cool little waterfalls. Hi, Roni. You're a good boy. <laughs> okay, let's go. He's always ready. All right, we're back down through the hard part. Rejoined with the main basin here. Man, I took a little spill. Uh, just didn't get traction with my shoes and slipped on some rock. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to start hiking with my... Crispies, like exclusively, but I've lost the trail again. You a fox? Well, we made it. From uh, start to finish, it was five and a half hours. Probably could have shaved an hour or two off that if I didn't talk and get lost so many times. But yeah, solid hike. So much easier when you are able to follow the trail on the way down. I don't know if I would say the view at Cane Lake's worth it. I would say it's definitely one of the more challenging hikes. Uh, yeah, one of the more challenging hikes that I've done in Idaho, but no, it's good practice for elk season and it looks like my tires are still not flat, so I should be able to make it home tonight. Till next time. See you guys. Bye, Ronnie. Say bye. Say bye, Ronnie. Yeah.